have today to rescue cabbages. Um, they are kind of rough. Um, but I got them because of that. Uh, this one has uh, corn silk hair, but it's actually rather nice. Her face, though, is like super, super filthy. It looks like she has her original dress on, uh, no diaper. She um, doesn't have a number on here, so I have to look up the, what year she is. But um, we're going to have to get her washed, that is for sure. She is a pea factory. And oh my word. But again, this, uh, I got her because she looked so bad. Butt's very clean, but the rest of her is filthy. Okay. Um, I'm also planning, she's going to be the one that I use to, uh, uh, just show how I do my stitches because she's missing her ankle, the back of her knee. Um, looks like she has all of her fingers. She does need a wrist one. This wrist looks okay. Um, I might go ahead and tighten up these knees because they're rather loose. That is firm. Here's I would I would start sewing. Let's get these. Um, I use the whole six strands of the embroidery thread. Exactly easy to do with these gloves on, but don't really want to touch them all that much without the gloves on. Now, as you see here, this right here this has been uh, knotted out here to the outside of the knee. So we're going to go ahead and put a good size knot I think it needs to be knotted one more time If you look at this one, how the knee is. So let's do that here. We're going to go ahead and use the same uh, holes that are in this one. And I'm just going to go, because they're, they're loose, I'm just going to go ahead and, well, before I do that, let's do this.
with our knees and the back of our knees. We got our elbows, our wrists. She actually feels pretty um, well stuffed for her age, so we don't have to take off her head and restuff her or anything. Um, all she needs now is uh, a bath, and her clothes need to be washed, and she'll be good to go. Alright, let's just make sure. Now it does look like someone tried to use, I don't know why they do this, but try to use like a highlighter on her lips. Okay, got my water here. And I'm just going to stick her in this. Dish soap, oxy, and bleach. I think she did pretty good. Alright, what I want to do is put her in the cold water now, or the clean water too, and let's just squeeze more of this soapiness out. Because if you leave soap in it, the soap actually attract dirt which you all probably know that so it is best to get it out and unfortunately my washing machine is on the fritz or I could have put her in the washing machine need to get another glove because I Got a hole in that other one. And I, uh, don't particularly like touching wet polyester. It's kind of like wet yarn. Can't stand to touch it. Cotton yarn, that's fine. But acrylic yarn when it's wet, ugh. You know, washing it. Move it from the wash machine to the dryer. Oh, I hate that feeling. All right, and I 
got her now in a third bucket, bucket so she can sit there and dry a little bit and I am going to uh, try to comb her hair a little bit here. the water in my gloves so yeah yeah she will need her hair washed but that will be another time because today we're just gonna work on combing it out so that was just to show you how to, you know, give you an idea how to do the knees and ankles and stuff like that. She's turning out pretty good. She may need to be fluffed up a little bit. With all the water and the squeezing and stuff. But I will work on this. When I come back, she should be dry, which will be tomorrow, and uh, you'll get to see the stitches all done and everything. Alright, later. wanted to show you what she looked like after she got all cleaned up um her wrist that I stitched you can see the spots cleaned off there and then her knees that I put back on and her ankles and then the back of her knees you can see and even after washing Just still look really good. This arm right here, I think I could have done better on it, but I think she looks, you know, pretty clean after those pictures that you saw. So, thanks for stopping by, y'all. Bye.